Boom shakalaka, Bitcoin lettuce hands abound, Willie Wu's halving prediction, and the biggest short squeeze in history is coming. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Bradley here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including Willie Wu's halving prediction, plus the biggest short squeeze in history. You definitely don't want to miss out. Before we get into it, guys, like the video helps out so much. Come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Don't be silly. Now, today, fear and greed at 74, up from yesterday's 73, just in regular run-of-the-mill greed, not extreme greed. The overall market up 1%. Bitcoin at 64,999. Sounds like a sale going on. Actually, 999.99. Oh, no, not anymore. But Ethereum at 3371. BNB at 556, Solana 174, XRP 63 cents, Dogecoin 17 cents, Cardano 63 cents, and Avalanche $53. And Bitcoin right now sitting under the 21 EMA. We talked about this a couple days ago that anytime in a bull run you can get Bitcoin below the 21 EMA, you are getting an absolutely rocking sale. As a matter of fact, since the bottom a year and four months ago, Bitcoin has only spent two weeks underneath this average. So if you want to scoop up some Bitcoin now, probably going to get it at a pretty decent discount because as you can see, the 21 EMA is coming to intersect the 50 moving average. And these are going to intersect the first week in April, which we could see a rather rocketing up of price at that time. Willie Wu chiming in on his halving Bitcoin price prediction, including according to this new model he's been playing with. Ooh, what's her name? Now, the worst of the sell down in this first phase of the consolidation may be over. Well, that's good, but he's kind of expecting consolidation to run right through the happening, thus more choppiness through April. Ugh, that doesn't sound great. But if we take a look, Bitcoin just witnessed its biggest surge in dormant Bitcoin tokens changing hands in more than two years, signaling a potential increase in volatility ahead. Now, up, down, sideways, we don't know, but that's a lot of Bitcoin moving hands, especially old Bitcoin moving hands. Talking about hands, you might have noticed on the thumbnail, we got some chat GPT lettuce hands on there. Well, it turns out that short-term holders in losses have peaked. These are the true lettuce hands. Good sign that the bottom is closed. Pretty much anytime we see a peak in this transfer volume from short-term holders in loss to exchanges, generally, that is a bottom. You can see all of these. That's pretty much the end, the bottom of the move. Good sign that the bottom is closed. It would be a real shame if the market pumps higher and forces them to buy back higher. As a matter of fact, hang around for a good reason why the market could pump a lot higher very, very quickly, forcing them to buy in much higher. The price right now is coming up to the short-term holder realized price. Right now, at roughly $55,000. It's pulled back towards the short-term holder realized price. Historically, a strong support level in bull markets is acted as support three out of four times so far this bull cycle. Will it hold the next time? You would think so, but it's not certain. But if we take a look at the order books, let's look at the books. Let's look at the books. All right. Well, these sell walls on Coinbase and Binance are thin as F, while buy walls are looking stacked. You can see lots of buy orders, very few sell orders. More signs we'll see higher prices soon. Tick tock. Great song by Kesha, right? We also have a massive head and shoulders forming which, should Bitcoin price break, I don't know, $67,000, this could pump Bitcoin price to roughly $74,000, $75,000, a new all-time high. You can see on the four-hour candles, left shoulder, head, right shoulder could push a price up much higher than where we are right now. You don't want to sleep on these patterns. Also, on three-month candles, the RSI about to blast off into the overbought bull zone. Historically, when Bitcoin hits this bull zone, it is all up territory. So it is looking like we are headed towards all up territory. As a matter of fact, another three month chart, the longer the duration of these candles, the more significant the trend is. The three month Bitcoin parabolic SAR has been tagged. You can see this plus sign underneath the price. Take a look historically, plus sign under the price, giant, giant moves for Bitcoin, which means we probably have some giant, giant moves ahead of us. As a matter of fact, we've already had our $10,000 in one day down candle. Well, it's about time we have a $10,000 in one day up candle and probably higher. Take a look at this. 
Shorts have grown fat and greedy. Between these two zones, which is $69.72 and then $75,000, there are now $20 billion plus in liquidations. This will be the most epic short squeeze in Bitcoin history. All we have to say is, once again, TikTok, great song by Kesha. Now, on continuing, price to marginal cost. What's changed? Right now, Bitcoin year on price target raised to $90,000 at Bernstein Coindesk. Well, we take the 2024 year-end Bitcoin price forecast to 90000 versus 80000 higher, and they are going to say by 2025, $150,000. So they still expect price to go up quite a bit. And in addition to the Pi Cycle Top indicator, here is another indicator worth keeping an eye on to know when the top is happening. The one-month Bollinger Bands. When the one-month Bollinger Bands stop expanding and curl up, you can see when it changes direction, you can say when the slope is zero, well, that's when we have our top. You can see that's picked out every top so far. Even more effective with candle close back inside the upper band. So all of those would be good indicators to keep an eye out. Also, cbbi.info for knowing when the top is in. As of right now, you can see it hasn't even dipped down yet. So there's still a lot of room for going up. And, and it should be noted. Alt season is just around the corner. We are literally on the cusp. You can see here this trend line with the Bitcoin market cap dominance. Gener generally, when it hits this, goes down, that causes a massive alt season. You can see right now getting squished between the support, that resistance trend line, the cross right here of the, of the log MACD, all of these things, well, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. We could have an absolutely epic alt season. As a matter of fact, we could have a giant fractal on a longer time period, meaning an even bigger alt season than we saw in 2017 and also 2020, making for an absolutely gigantic, gigantic year for anyone in altcoins. Don't sleep on this one. You might regret it. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push the like button. Come join us on Twitter at The Crypto Love. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.